Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and in today's video I'm going to share with you the exact steps that I take to create endless outfit possibilities with my capsule wardrobe. We're going to go through the entire process of creating a capsule wardrobe from start to finish. So how to choose each piece, how to add in shoes and accessories, and how to combine pieces to create lots of different outfits without getting bored of your capsule wardrobe. We're going to use my current winter capsule wardrobe as an example. If you're interested in that video I'll link it at the end. So if you've always wanted to try out a capsule wardrobe but you're just overwhelmed by the idea or don't know where to start then keep watching this video because by the end of it you're going to be an expert. And if you're enjoying this video so far, I think you're really going to like this. I have recently launched my first online course, The Art of Slow Fashion. This is a two hour long video course where we explore three pillars of slow fashion, sustainability, personal style, and minimalism. In this course, I show you how to create a small, functional, and stylish wardrobe of high quality pieces that perfectly represents you. This course also includes three live workshop sessions where I can give you personalized style advice and an invitation for you to join an exclusive online community of like-minded individuals to support you on your slow fashion journey. The course launches on January 4th and the discounted pre-sale price is 150 US dollars so be sure to grab your seat before that ends. Follow the link in the description box to sign up and if you want to stay in touch I have a special weekly newsletter going out each Monday of December to give you a little sneak preview into what's going to be covered in the course. Also each Wednesday of December I'm doing a slow fashion chat on Instagram live so be sure to follow me at jessica.harumi to keep up up to date with that. Now let's get back into the video. Step 1. Choosing your pieces. The first step in creating your capsule wardrobe is of course choosing your pieces. Let's look at my current winter capsule wardrobe as an example. It's comprised of 22 pieces, 5 tops, 6 bottoms, 5 pieces of knitwear, 2 pieces of outerwear, 3 pairs of shoes, and 1 handbag. It's also worth noting that some of these pieces are actually part of matching loungewear sets because cozy season, but that's not really going to change how I compare everything together. So how do you decide which pieces to choose and also how many of each piece? So when I'm starting off with any capsule wardrobe, I always start with 5 tops, and this is purely for practical reasons because I don't want to have to do laundry in the middle of a work week. And the rest is really up to personal personal preference, I tend to choose pieces based off of how much flexibility they'll give me in terms of styling. Step 2. Determine your outfit formulas. The next step in creating a capsule wardrobe is determining what your outfit formulas look like. An outfit formula is how you plan to build each outfit. A formula that I like to build my outfits around each day consists of one t-shirt, one bottom, and one knitwear piece. This is a year-round outfit formula for me, and in the winter I also like to include one piece of outerwear. Another more seasonal outfit formula for me is a matching loungewear set. This is very type A of me, but I'm not the biggest fan of loungewear. Back at the beginning of 2020 when we were all spending a lot more time at home, I was wearing jeans every day just to sit on the sofa, and I've since come around to the wonder of stretchy pants, but I still like to feel really put together even in loungewear, so a matching set feels like a good middle ground for me. So to recap, the two outfit formulas that I'm using to style a majority of my winter capsule wardrobe are number one, the t-shirt, bottom, and knitwear, and number two, the t-shirt and matching loungewear set. Identifying one to two outfit formulas is important because it helps you visually break down how everything's going to work together. Step 3. Adding shoes and accessories. The third step to creating your capsule wardrobe is adding in shoes and accessories. This is what gives your capsule wardrobe variety. It pulls everything together and makes each outfit feel unique. It's also what prevents your capsule wardrobe from feeling boring and repetitive. If you're committing to only wearing a small portion of your wardrobe for a certain period of time, you'll want to make sure they are practical for both day to day, but also keep things fun and interesting. Now for shoes, I find it's helpful to think about how many different pairs you typically wear in a week. Most people wear the same one to two pairs each week, adding in a couple of other styles a few times a month. So depending on the total number of pieces in your capsule wardrobe, consider adding in one to three pairs of shoes. For accessories, again, think about how many different types of handbags and accessories you like to wear during the course of a week. Do you like to change it up often or do you stick with the same few pieces? Personally, the only accessory I'm using regularly right now is my everyday handbag from Kuyana, so that is actually the only handbag and accessory that I included in my winter capsule wardrobe. When choosing accessories, it's important to make sure that they work with more than one outfit. If you add something into your capsule wardrobe and only end up wearing it once over the course of a month, that is a spot that could have gone to something a lot more versatile. That said, if you have a special event coming up and you know you want to wear a specific pair of shoes to it, I do think it's worth adding that to your capsule wardrobe because, you know, a capsule wardrobe is meant to be reflective of our lifestyle and be useful to us, so that pair of shoes is still serving its purpose. 
Step 4. Create outfit combinations. The fourth and final step to creating your capsule wardrobe is to start styling yourself and creating outfits. And I have a few tips for maximizing your capsule wardrobe and creating endless outfit possibilities. Let's think of our tops and bottoms as making up our base outfit. And so if you have 5 tops and 6 bottoms, that is 35 base outfit combinations. Now let's think of knitwear and outerwear as our secondary pieces that we will add in to complete each base outfit and add variety. And shoes and accessories are like the finishing touches to polish off each outfit. When adding your secondary pieces, I recommend changing multiple pieces at once rather than changing one at a time. For example, one of my base outfits consists of a gray t-shirt and black trousers. Then I add my secondary pieces, a gray sweater and a trench coat. Then I add my shoes and accessories to finish it off, a pair of black boots and my brown handbag. If I change one piece at a time, say my sweater, then I'm going to end up with lots of outfits that look exactly the same. This is going to make my capsule wardrobe feel really boring and repetitive because I'm wearing the same four out of five pieces over and over again. And this is good if you're going for outfit quantity, but not so much quality. Now instead, if I change my sweater, shoes, and outerwear all at once, the outfit feels completely different. So when putting together outfits, try changing multiple pieces at once. Another tip is to pay attention to when you wear each outfit. I like to space out my outfits so that I'm not wearing the same piece two days in a row. And I do this with tops and bottoms rather than shoes and outerwear. For shoes and outerwear, I have fewer options and when I wear them depends more on the weather. But for tops and bottoms, I can most of the time avoid wearing the same t-shirt or jeans two days in a row unless I want to for some reason. This is just another way of keeping your capsule wardrobe feeling fresh and interesting. So that is a condensed version for how to create endless outfit possibilities with a capsule wardrobe. If you want to go further into this topic and learn how to create seasonal and year-round capsule wardrobes, how to shop for your capsule wardrobe, and how to style yourself, then check out my new online course, The Art of Slow Fashion. It's launching on January 4th and you can take advantage of the discounted pre-sale price if you follow the link in the description box to sign up. If you have any questions about creating a capsule wardrobe, feel free to pop those in the comments and I'll answer them there. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you in the next one.